Uh, what is some good news here this evening? Baseball is back. It is a done deal between the league and the players to end the lockout. The agreement finally reached this week means that the 162 game season can still be salvaged, starting with some spring training, which is great news for local businesses and fans here. 10 Tampa Bay's Shannon Clo is at Baycare Ballpark in Clearwater, where they are ready to play ball. Well, things are already looking different here at the stadium. Fans are coming by and they're actually getting to go inside the stadium. They're taking pictures, getting that sneak peek before the players hit the field in about a week here at some stadiums. And fans are just telling me they are so excited for spring training's return. Baseball is definitely back and here we go. No more curveballs for these fans. Spring training is returning. I mean, listen, we're happy. It's baseball. We want it back. <laughs> For the last 15 years, Larry Gurmick and Robert Barczyk catch all the spring training games in our area. I live in West Palm Beach, so he comes down every year and we do this area. We see the Yankees, we see the Phillies, we see right, the Pirates, right, Pirates Bradenton. Bradenton. This year, finally, the home run they were hoping for. Yesterday, we saw the lock on the gate in Bradenton, and then the next day, it's open. 99 days of negotiating and it's game time. A five year labor contract has been approved for the players. You ready to roll? That means Florida training camps are open. Spring training. Games begin March 17th, but for some. Go Phillies! That's a swing and a miss. And we had tickets for yesterday's game. Yeah. So we're coming from New Jersey. Good morning. Local oh, businesses striking out on their baseball booths so far this season. The Florida Sports Foundation says in 2018, Florida spring training generated nearly $700 million. Locally, officials with the Sarasota Chamber of Commerce say spring training is worth about $63 million to local businesses in that area. We saw guys in uniforms. They're practicing down there right now. Which means patience only needs to be benched for a little bit longer. Baseball! <laughs> We'll just give you an idea of the impact. You know, in 2019, the last full spring training season, nearly 1.5 million fans came out to the ballparks. Since 2000, more than 31 million fans have attended Florida spring training games. The return of baseball also means bigger paychecks for some of our fire departments, EMS, and law enforcement because covering game shifts is an opportunity for overtime hours.